Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video was requested by Rihanna and also by OMB123, so this is going to be kind of a combination of the two requests. So I'm going to talk about how I got my divines, uh, sort of what promos, um, things that I sort of planned ahead for whenever I was doing that, and then also what divines are breedable. So I'm only going to focus on the ones that I have that are breedable. Um, maybe in future I'll do one about all the current breedable divines, but for now it's just going to be the ones that I have. Um, so starting off, I will set them to date of birth, because I think this is the easiest thing to do, um, is work from the oldest to the newest ones. And some of them have probably forgotten how I've got them, but I'll do my best. Um, the first divine that I ever got on the UK server was my best Lefner. That was one in a Horn of Plenty. Um, also, this one was as well. These two uh, took a really, really long time to get with Horns of Plenty. Um, so those are my two first divines here on UK. Um, I do actually have some divines on International. Those divines, two of them I actually got because I purchased, I believe it was, an actual horse board game. So you actually physically bought an actual board game. Like it was a real, it was like a, almost like a Monopoly game, but it was horse based. And because I got that, I was given, I think, a Snow Divine. Because um, I really, really badly wanted a Divine. I never had one. And I was like, if I buy this board game, I get a Divine. Okay. So I did that. And then they sat on my account and it didn't do anything. So it was kind of like in hindsight, maybe I shouldn't. But I do still actually have the board game. Um, this one I remember buying. Um, most of my Falabellas are bought. This one was one in a Horn of Plenty. I don't remember. I think it was just a regular promo. This one, I actually have no recollection of how I got my Sapphire at all. <laughs> uh, the same thing with my Gypsiums, except the ones that I bought. Uh, Graafel, I think I won that in a promotion, but it's that long ago. I really don't remember. This one, I remember buying. Mars, I won in a promotion, but I don't remember what kind of promotion. Um, these little guys I would have bought as well. Neptune, Venus, and Uranus I would have gotten a promo as well, but I don't remember what promo. Um, this one was one in a Horn of Plenty. These ones were bought. This one I also don't remember. Thicarus, eh, that's a good question. How did I win Thicarus? I know it was a promotion. I don't remember what kind of promotion. Belios, this was during the uh, Christmas things that they do where they uh, offer Christmas packs. So if you like buy a pack of so many passes, then you were given uh, the choice of a divine. You could pick a divine that you wanted. Um, so that's how I got that Belios. Cascade, I don't remember in the slightest, which is probably quite bad actually. Uh, actually, no, I do remember how I got Cascade. Cascade was also the Christmas packs as well. And the grey file came along with those, so you got the grey file like as an extra. Um, same with this Belios as well. Agate was one in a promotion. This little guy was one in a one of plenty. He was the one, the one follow bell I really wanted. Shanma I bought out of reserved sales, I think. Um, I think the same with him, Fraxy as well. I think they were about fifteen passes. Um, in the direct sales. Longmo Longmo is actually one of the only divines I've ever won out of a Titans challenge. Like I don't really try with Titans challenges because they just tend to drive me insane. Um, I really for some reason wanted a Longmo because when I'd scale sometimes I couldn't get the tub of grease and I was like well if this gives me a chance of tub of grease and in hindsight I don't know why I bothered. <laughs> I don't know what possessed me that I really wanted this divine at the time but um, I think it just looked odd and I don't know, I just decided that I wanted it. Um, I won that one in a Titans challenge during a lottery because whatever the great challenge was on, uh, they offered VIPs uh, holders that they could try the Titans challenges to get it earlier. And then the real, real, real irony was this one was won in the lottery afterwards. So I was like, because basically I spent passes on Titans challenges to get this guy, then I had tickets, extra tickets for the lottery, which then won me this one, and I ended up with two, and I was like, what was the points at all? 
So that was kind of the irony of it, um, when I really didn't need a second one, one would have been quite sufficient. Uh, Chitu and the other Chitu are both actually foals of Longma. Uh, rain, 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 rain. I think I bought this out of the uh, sales, the reserved sales. Yeah, I did. Um, and obviously this one, you can breed it to get uh, Geyser from Cloud. So um, I'll get to Geyser later. But uh, there's my Cloud. Now, how did I get Cloud? I think Cloud would have been... Okay, as the son of Rain. Um, Cloud is the son of Rain and Geyser. That's it. Okay, so I, that one was bred. I bred that one from those ones. Um, Grefell. This Grefell was a Christmas pack along with this Belios. Because this was the last... This was a Christmas past. Um, they brought out this new volcanic Belios, which I thought looked super pretty. And I was like, I want this. <laughs> this is a Christmas present to me, don't judge. Um, and then for us was the same because I really, really wanted to get Snowflake. So Frost was in the Christmas packs as well. And then I was able to breed Snowflake um, from Frost, which I was really happy with because that was like the divine that I wanted so much to have. Um... Oh, I'll just go back there again. Uh, Midas was bought in the direct sales because I decided that I thought it would be good to be able to use um, Harmony Packs on donkeys because I don't really breed donkeys that much. I just use them for trophy collection. Um, Geyser, of course, as I mentioned earlier, was bred from... I'm just going to check because I mix the water divines up. Uh, it was bred from Snowflake and Cascade. So breeding, having frost allowed me to get Snowflake which then allowed me to get Geyser. Uh, spring was bought in the direct sales. I had no interest in Spring um, before, like whenever it first came out in the lottery, the very first great challenge. And then I was like, okay, I kind of do want this because it's useful. It means that I can give boxes to people that I wouldn't normally be able to. So more people could use my C, which I thought was really good. Um, Charming Red and Cool Carrot was the recent card promo, which you would have seen in some of my card videos. Um, they're quite nice, and I just decided that I really, I really do want to see what Secret Rainbow was going, is going to look like. So I was like, I want to see these. Um, and they also have some nice little perks that are kind of handy, and they do give a diamond. So it was more curiosity. Whenever I did the cards, I went for as long as I possibly could without using uh, card packs. And then whenever the first card packs came out, I used those. I didn't wait until the Joker packs came out. And the reason I didn't was because I knew the Joker cards were going to be much more expensive. And I didn't see the point in having to spend more for less cards. But I didn't know we were going to get less cards at the time. I just was like, if I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it now. So um, I think... I spent a while getting the last ones out of that, so I used past horses that I had uh, collected and saved up um, to do that. So to be honest, like with a lot of those horses, the best thing to do is to have a lot of past horses rather than stock for use to get some things. This little guy here was actually bred yesterday. Or was it yesterday? Yes, it was yesterday. Um, I didn't realize that I had a female Grafell and a male, well actually I knew I had a male Grafell, I knew I had several male Grafells, but I didn't realize I had a female Grafell, so I bred her and I have now got another Grafell. Um, I have quite a few Grafells to go. I don't have all of them yet, I have five out of the twelve, so for ages I was on four. And then I saw one of my friends had bred a Grafell and I was like, we haven't had a promotion for these. And then I realized, I was like, wait a minute, there's, fe there's two female Grafell. And I wonder, do I have either of them? So I had one, so I thought I'd go breed her and then get my other, get one more Grafell onto the, the pile that is. Like, there's 12 of them, which is kind of too many. But, um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Really, you know, when it comes to Divines, passes are involved. Passes are always involved. So my honest opinion is, make sure you age your horses daily, make sure that you have plenty of horses that are reasonably old, 
you know, whether they're over 15, or you buy them when they're over 15, or you buy them when they're 12, or whatever, out of the direct sales, buy them when they're cheap, um, or just have a lot of acquisition stock to be able to buy the instant pass ones um, from the direct sales, but you're gonna, you're looking at quite a lot of acquis to do that. Um, there are some of them there that you can't get unless you actually buy passes, but other than that, you know, the Christmas packs really, the Christmas packs are the ones that you have to buy, they have to physically buy passes. Most of these other ones you can get without. Like the Belios was one that sometimes comes out in like the Titans challenges and stuff. So if you have a lot of passes in stock, you could probably get it in the Titans challenges. Just I didn't want because as I've said, Longmo is the only one I've ever got in the Titans challenge, and I didn't want to suffer trying to get a Belios in the Titans challenge and then get a Belios that I didn't want. So either getting another um, Earth one or another uh, Nebula one, I wanted this volcanic one, so I just preferred to just buy it. Uh, and know what I was getting, the one I wanted. So, depends really what you what you want, uh, mostly. Other than that, I'm trying to think, is there any other ones I... Well, Cascade, as I mentioned, hold on, I'll go to it, um, produced me geyser from Snowflake, but then I had to have Frost to do that. Um, and the Chitus were born from Longma, and I'm just going to check. I don't actually have this one, I'm not even going to try and say that name, but it's that's the one you need to breed Chitu from. Chitu doesn't really do anything um, other than collect skill points. They're kind of useless, to be fair. And I don't know why I ended up having to get too long, but I did, so there's nothing I can do about it. If I could swap it for something else, if it was physically possible, I would, but because I don't need to. But um, that's it, really, guys. Um, my honest opinion with Divines is either start saving up a lot of Equus or a lot of passes. You don't have to buy them. You can do it for free. Okay, it is possible. It's gotten far easier. Like if you right, if you want to think about it back then, 2011 or prior to 2011. I would have needed to have had about 200 passes to get one of these. That's not the case anymore. Most of these little guys here, 15 passes to get one. Granted, they're more frequent and they fire them out something ridiculous. So, you know, okay, you're getting more, but it's like there's so many of them and they're so frequent that it ends up being more than probably it did for some of the older ones. So that's, that's it, really. Anyway, uh, thank you to Rhiannon and also to Onbu123. And hope you love your day. Bye, guys.